man, this is crazy. We've just found out, well, within the past hour, basically, I just found out a couple minutes ago, that Titanfall 2 looks like it's going to be coming out in either November or December of 2016. Uh, EA released their quarterly's earnings, at, quarterly earnings, sorry, and uh, actually had uh, it shown that it will launch uh, in Q3, um, which, uh, you know, Q3 of their fiscal year, which will either be October, November, or December. They're not going to release Titanfall 2 against Battlefield. That would just be ridiculous. Um, it's more than less likely they could actually launch it towards the end of November to battle Call of Duty. Um, the reason for this is um, why we actually think it could be a early launch. Um, I predicted originally maybe March of next year. Um, some people said that actually Mass Effect Andromeda will be the last major game by EA uh, for the fiscal year, where I was thinking it'd be Titanfall 2. Um, however, supposedly it's because Call of Duty has received such negative publicity and negative everything from fans, you know, because it's been the same crap for so many years now, um, and people are tired of it. Um, I liked Advanced Warfare, but that's a different thing altogether. Um... But yeah, so yeah, that could come out now in November. And I was wondering, you know, a little bit more than a year ago, if we could actually see the creators of Titanfall, Respawn Entertainment, or sorry, the creators of Titanfall, Respawn Entertainment, which were majority of them were the original creators of the uh, major Call of Duty games, Modern Warfare 1, Modern Warfare 2, um, if they were going to ever go head to head against Call of Duty, and it might be time, this might be it, Respawn um, and EA might have decided that, yeah, we're going to go against, um, Call of, Call of Duty, which is a big gamble, but, I mean, collectively as a company, uh, Battlefield and, uh, Titanfall together may sell enough units to oversell, uh, Call of Duty, um, just, just to put it in perspective, usually Battlefield does, roughly 50 just a little under 60 say 50 to 57 percent less than call of duty does um maybe titanfall could pick up that slack uh, that's that's really interesting um so yeah we could actually have titanfall 2 come out before the end of this year which means i'm going to be very very tired um i usually do 24 hour marathons for call of duty uh, when it first comes out, and I did it for Titanfall, and I'm going to do it for Titanfall 2, as well as I'm going to do it for Call of Duty, and I'm going to do it for Battlefield. Um, it's going to be a great three months, basically, in that time frame, if they, if they are within about three months' time. I'm going to be very tired and a lot of gaming and a lot of switching back and forth between uh, Battlefield 1, uh, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, and f Modern Warfare 1, for that matter, and Titanfall. So it's like four games I'm going to be playing the crap out of. Uh, now if I could just get paid to do this, that would be great, so I don't have to go to work and do this, but yeah, so, Titanfall 2, 2016, pretty freaking excited.